Welcome to your Leo New Moon reading. If you're listening to this only, you are getting less than half of Great Mother's message to you for this Leo New Moon. All signs have their gifts that they give to us and gifts that we um, give to each other through our emotional orientation each month. It waxes and wanes. But Leo is ruled by the sun, and if nothing else, everyone knows their sun sign. There's a reason for that. So you want to go ahead. If you don't have time now, copy the link below or click into the link below. It goes to the Mama Drama Trauma channel. You want to subscribe to that for these types of longer videos that get into the meat of Mama Drama Trauma. This is a very important introduction to the Leo Virgo New Moon. If you are in your current Sati Sati, that means if you are Scorpio, Sagittarius, or Capricorn moon sign people in the Vedic astrology, this is a particularly important message for you because we're talking about the buildup from now until January of the Saturn-Pluto conjunction. Again, that video is at the Mama Drama Trauma channel. It's the introduction to the Leo New Moon, what to do for the Saturn-Pluto conjunction. Now, between now and then is a season of planting and reaping. So you want to know what that's about. And you also want to pay attention to if your moon sign is coming up in a new moon in particular. I'm going to have Virgo up next, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn. In the meantime and in between time, you want to also look at full moon signs coming up in Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and Cancer. In terms of full illumination and release, very very powerful time. This period is a seeding of the rest of your life, what the rest of your life is going to look like. And Great Mother is giving you a message about how to work with the supportive energy. Speaking of support, my gift via Great Mother to you is a free Great Mother Speaks Oracle deck. That's right. The newly revised Great Mother Speaks Oracle deck is now available. They're going to be shipped out as a Northern Hemisphere harvest. Happens for us September 14th. It's going to be sent out to you as a free gift. Now, there's a tutorial that is also a part of this gift between November 3rd and December 22nd. You choose Sunday or Monday nights which tutorial group you want to be a part of. And 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every Sunday and Monday between November 3rd and December 22nd, you're going to learn the eight suits of the Great Mother Speaks Oracle deck. That Aspire, we're always talking about those six lower or pip cards, as we say in traditional tarot. And the major arcana, A-S-P-I-R-E, acknowledge self-inquiry, processing, integrity, rebirth, and emancipation, in addition to the law cards. Of course, we have an angel card there, and the angels are working with all of us right now. So let's go ahead and get started with your reading. Sagittarius moon sign people, the center of your spread is Baba Yaga, the throat chakra new moon card, the wild woman. In the Great Mother Speaks Oracle deck, this is the scene in the Wizard of Oz, which Dorothy is the poster child of Mama Drama Trauma. When she and the three enter the dark forest and the sign there, remember saying, I'd go back if I were you, which is castle one mile away. Your soul is wanting to do work on transcending fear, on transcending apprehension, on transmuting self-doubt about what you know you know within the last several months, and especially this 
past eclipse season, just passing in July last month, about your soul purpose, about your spiritual wisdom, about your spiritual teaching. Maybe you are to be sharing this courage with others because Dorothy and the three completely acknowledged the sign and read it with trepidation. They did. But at the end of the day, Baba Yaga, the wild woman, symbolizes courage. Courage to act in alignment with one's higher will, with one's higher dharma, with one's highest spiritual wisdom as this new moon is in your ninth house having to do with that with regard to great mother energy ninth house energy with our intuitive wisdom is all about owning our spiritual wisdom what our soul knows through experience and Dorothy knew that as long as she had her mind as long as she had the courage And as long as she had the heart, she could get through no matter how wild and scary things appeared. And so from now until the Saturn-Pluto conjunction, your soul is wanting you to embrace your wild woman, Sagittarius moon sign people, and align with that higher will. What's bringing that up is Lilith, the gut chakra energy of personal power. This is a need to embrace your birthright to be happy, healthy, and whole. This is the scene when Glinda the Good Witch bestows Dorothy the ruby red slippers, which symbolizes our birthright to be happy, healthy, and whole. In the waxing gibbous moon, this is talking about as a result of receiving our birthright to be happy, healthy, and whole. We change This is the moon phase right before the full moon. There's adjustments that are made before a full illumination. Before you make a full reveal, if you've ever done a performance or you've ever done a presentation or you've even ever prepared yourself for a conversation with someone or your child or something you've given forethought to, there are changes that are made from the beginning of that thought until you actually execute the plan. That's the Lilith card. It's embracing the power to do your best in setting your intention. The third chakra is indeed ruled by Mars, which rules Scorpio in the Vedic and Aries. So if you have Scorpion and Aries energy elsewhere in your chart, in your moon sign, or in your ascendant perhaps, this is particularly indicative of what is bringing up your need to embrace your wild woman at this time. It may be extremely wild for some of you to embrace your birthright to be happy, healthy, and whole. But for others, it's just been a matter of aligning that strong Martian energy in your chart with your higher spiritual wisdom at this time. And in moving forward during this unique season of our lives, in your shadow position is the law of divine mother this card is posted on the great mother speaks instagram the birthright card as the first newly revised published deck card law of divine mother came up and that was not a surprise this in your shadow position is another gut chakra card ruled by Mars. Gut chakra is about emotional processing with great mother energy. And so you may not be aware of, since this is in your shadow position, that you are emotionally processing a lot of old ideas about what power meant, about what your health, your happiness, your wholeness meant. It's no longer being based on what others think. Mars is the army general. To whom? The sun. Leo is ruled by the sun. And so therefore, its higher knowledge is always aligned with the soul purpose. And so your sun sign, again, if it is Aries or Scorpio, this is a very strong message for you in terms of owning your birthright to be happy, healthy, and whole by releasing those things that do not support your personal power to do so. And for others, this is 
a message for you to think very clearly about your sun sign and specifically if you can afford to get a reading, a moon sign reading to look at the nakshatra that your sun sign is in so that you can see the constellation that is operating in your sun sign that is guiding the Martian energy in your chart. So you may want to everyone look at where Mars is in particular in your chart as well, the planet Mars, because there's a lot of good chakra energy here. That's the majority energy in your chart. That's what I love about this new deck. We can just see through the color what the frequency, the dominant frequencies are uh, in our chart. We have three gut chakra, two throat chakra, two heart chakra. And so um, gut chakra, Martian energy is important. Shadow, releasing those things that don't support your birthright through this wild woman energy. What you want, what you desire is this throat chakra, this higher will energy, speaking and being your truth with regard to the new you, with regard to this journey that you're taking, with regard to going past the warning signs and the cautionary tales about, oh, the last time I heard of somebody doing this and trying to do whatever it is in your agenda to be happy, healthy, and whole, somehow it is making others uncomfortable or making uh, you feel that you'll no longer have uh, the safety and security around them. That's not so much a priority anymore. Remember, the soul is wanting to move past the signs of fear into this throat chakra energy, Baba Yaga's throat chakra energy as well, the wild woman moving past that sign of fear and cautionary tales into this waxing gibbous energy, refining, editing, revising yourself in order to be reborn. This is the scene in The Wizard of Oz when Dorothy melts the wicked witch with the water bucket. Water symbolizing spirit, emotion. Remember, this is ninth house energy for you, which is all about spiritual wisdom. You are your own interior guru, Sagittarius. That's what Sagittarius stands for, the sage. So you are your own sage. You're being reborn in your own internal wisdom as a result of... Initiating your healing journey with earnest and now being at a stage of knowing what is true for you as opposed to what is true for someone else. What's supporting you in doing this is the Yimiya energy. You have learned soul surrender, heart chakra, Emerald City. The green chakra is all about that journey to and through Emerald City. Yemiya is the poppy field. And so what's supporting you is that even though there may be past addictions, past habits, past proclivities that are pulling you back like the Wicked Witch created the poppy field symbolizing addictions to, um, what do they call it? To um, divert Dorothy and the Three from their course onto Oz's castle simply by asking for help. And that is what is supporting you, allowing your soul guidance to help you onto your intended destination, which is great father guidance. Oz symbolizes great father. And you are opening your heart through this breaking of your heart to what in the past you thought was personal power. In the past, you thought was health, happiness, and wholeness. But now with Great Mother setting you on this course to go see Oz in order to return home, there's a new perspective that's emerging now that you are facing your true heart, integrating your true courage, and thinking from your own mind, there is a surrender to the soul to allow you to awaken from the dream. 
And so the poppy field dream is a dream within a dream. Okay. And so this is supporting you in allowing for your heart to really directly receive those downloads from Divine Mother about your birthright to be happy, healthy, and whole. Just as when the call for help from Tin Man and the Scarecrow was answered by Glinda the Good Witch, who just with the toss of her wand removed the poppies and Dorothy, Toto, and the lion awakened. So... Your present state of ego soul alignment is mauve, taking responsibility for your journey. You are taking responsibility at this time for your spiritual wisdom, for what you have downloaded, for what you have learned in the months prior to this Leo new moon. You are activating a new revised sense of yourself. This is the munchkin singing to you, follow the yellow brick road. And that is exactly what you're doing. Another Martian energy gut chakra card. This is in the waning gibbous energy of gratitude. Many of you are feeling a tremendous sense of gratitude for all of the confirmations you have been receiving, for all of the encouragement you have been receiving. And Great Mother is letting you know through yet another confirmation in this reading that yes you are on the path follow 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 the yellow brick road you know follow it on and uh dance and enjoy yourself and uh whatever your mind says as scorpio as a scarecrow um Speaking of Scorpio, Scorpio energy is how you download information, and that is ruled by Mars. Okay, so even here with um, looking at the gut chakra, which is the dominant energy in your card, uh, all uh, Sagittarius moon sign people have the moon yoga of Scorpio in the 12th house. So that's telling you that that is how the soul, how you intuitively download like a Scorpio. Uh, very deeply okay again that's why you feel as the sage because you've downloaded deeply and you process or act as a Capricorn so this reading is very important to you again you are in the middle of your Sati Sati and the conjunction is in Saturn Sati Sati is all about the transit of Saturn through the 12th, 1st, and 2nd lunar houses. So Sagittarius being your first lunar house and Scorpio being your 12th, ruled by Mars, taking responsibility has not been easy for you, but you are. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations for that. Um, and you are to be admired because the moon phase is waning gibbous. So you're doing it with a sense of gratitude. You're doing it with such a sense of sharing with others, your bounty and what you've learned and what you've gained and inspirational, just like a guru, inspirational. Why your soul is wanting to do this fantastic, fabulous work is because Sheila Nagig. Sheila Nagig is the broken heart that has opened through the process of it breaking. And what is that if it's not Saturn traversing the lunar houses of the 12th, 1st, and 2nd? Venus rules the heart chakra. And so that has to do with Taurus Virgo energy and in the Vedic talking about Taurus Virgo energy we're talking about some of you who have nakshatras that are very active at this particular time with regard to Venus so your Venus may be in Taurus your Venus may be in Libra did I say Virgo Venus rules Taurus and Libra. So if you do have Venus in those signs, that's something to take note of because your native Venus, which is your natal chart um, in the Vedic, is conjunct the moon and the sun at this time in Leo. So 
um, that's really, really, really important for you to note, Sagittarius moon sign people. With that being in Leo, that's ninth house energy for you. That is again is emphasizing the beauty that you are taking responsibility for your um your your journey to personal power and and embracing your birthright so th there are energetic configurations that are supporting you even though you are in the process of sati sati which is all about purifying the soul contract, purifying the ego to align with the soul to achieve its dharma with regard to its soul contracts. And so that's why your soul wants to do this work. It, it wants to uh, embrace this wild woman energy that is speaking and being its truth because each time it does it, it, it opens its heart to more and more and more. How it wants to do this is through self-inquiry. There are still areas in your life where there are blinders with regard to your birthright, and you're working through that in a way that you inquire as opposed to condemn yourself. Self-inquiry is a balsamic moon card. It is the S in Aspire in the uh, six Aspire suits of the Great Mother Speaks Oracle deck is self-inquiry. All of the Aspire cards, A, acknowledge, S for self-inquiry, P for processing, I for integrity, R for rebirth, and E for emancipation are balsamic moon cards. It is the lunar phase right before the new moon. So right before this new moon, the practice of self-inquiry was very helpful for many of you. Again, as opposed to condemning oneself and saying, you know, why am I so scared and why am I allowing, you know, the fears of others to overtake me as you were in the process of death to rebirth? You really did activate this practice of just asking yourself, is it true? Is it true that just because I'm feeling some anxiety that, you know, I'm wrong or I'm bad or I'm not enough? Is that true? Or is it just that's how I'm feeling because I've had a lifetime of feeling that way and I have to consciously inseminate a new thought to uproot the old? That's the process of death and rebirth. So we want to align ourselves with how your soul wants to uproot the old and inseminate the new. That's why Great Mother's message in the Leo New Moon video is so important about what to do for this Saturn-Pluto conjunction. You want to pin that video to your search tabs because you want to refer back to that as well as pinning this video to listen to it between now and January the 12th. Any and every time you have a question about what your soul is wanting to do in terms of what it has received up to this point. Remember, we receive from an intuitive great mother, emotional intuitive level, and we act according to the Western astrology, what your Western moon sign is, which for most of you will be Capricorn. There's a 24 degree difference. Some of you, it will be Sagittarius as well. That's why the calculator is below, as well as the link to the Leo new moon intro. Is it true? Is it true? That's how. That's how you uproot those old defeating thoughts that keep you away from embracing your personal power, those ruby red slippers and your birthright to be happy, healthy and whole, acting on that birthright. That's the thing, isn't it? It's one thing to think, oh, I have a birthright to be happy, healthy and whole and doing those things that make us happy, doing those things that make us healthy doing those things that make us whole. And again, the Western astrology is uh, equally useful in looking at what is motivating the ego in those areas. Your most likely outcome as a result of doing this work is a tremendous reward, Sagittarius moon sign people. 
Many of you have already begun to receive those. If you haven't felt like you've received them in full, there is even more to come. And many of you, most of you are sensing that with the raw card. This is your third eye card ruled by the moon, great mother energy, gifts, talents, and abilities in the waxing gibbous moon. So the outcome being one of you being rewarded for all of this effort of all of this soul surrender to your divinity, using your personal power to own and live your birthright to be happy, healthy, and whole. Doing the work between now and then, each new moon and each full moon, to experience yourself as a dearly loved divine child of the great mother father god who was never judged condemned or left alone we do have karma and it creates consequences karma means actions and the actions that great mother is encouraging you through this reading are those that will reward you through your gifts talents and abilities in ways that you cannot even imagine now that saturn pluto conjunction is going to release what you work on between now and then to support your divinity. Now for your suggested Leo new moon readings in the sign of Virgo, where the new moon is in the Western astrology, we align our ego desires with our soul intention from this reading. Virgo rules discrimination, including analysis, critical thinking, focus, and discernment. Might want to get out your pencil and paper to jot down whatever strikes your spirit as your Virgo new moon wish. Sample wishes for discrimination. To promote accurate discrimination, you may want to... Write down, I want to easily find myself analyzing the problem of fill in the blank in a way that produces productive, happy results. I want all confusion and overanalyzing of my situation with fill in the blank easily lifted from me. I want to easily find myself accurately discerning what is important to me and what is not. I want to easily find myself effectively responding to external crises without inner tension. I want to easily find myself focusing on and appreciating the opportunities that are being offered to me. I want to easily find myself consistently focusing on the here and now moment, using it to make my dreams come true. Great Mother, Holy Spirit, Yin, Divine Mother, Cosmic Moon, Deep Space, the Moon, Dark Matter, the Void, the Black Hole, Atar, Isis, Diana, Mami, Ishtar, Kali, Mami, and Mother. Great Mother speaks to us in raw, realistic, and honest.